It's where the mentality of muscle meets the intelligence of high-tech industrial engineering. Harrington's RHN Heavy Industrial Hoist, better known as the Rhino. My name is Alan Mark and we're live and direct here at the Harrington Hoist plant in Mannheim, Pennsylvania on Industry Visions. Our special guest, Mr. Brett Lusso. Hey, Alan, how are you doing today, my friend? Terrific, Brett. Now, how long has Harrington uh, been involved with the uh, Rhino as part of the product lineup? Sure, the Rhino was introduced early in 2012 and has really become the workhorse for our offering when it comes to wire rope hoist. Let me ask you this, uh, Brett, is this a typical application for a, a hoist crane system such as this? Yeah, great question. This is really typical. This is just a standard, what we call a stick crane five ton, 35 foot span. There's thousands of these throughout the country and almost every manufacturing facility. These are everywhere. And uh, why do you call it uh, a rhino? Al, you can't stop a rhino, you know that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one heck of a hoist. The thing is bulletproof, it lasts forever. It's a rhino. Yeah, you know, Brett, there's, there's a lot of it. When we're talking about intelligent engineering, there's, there's some incredible industrial systems on this that are just invaluable for industrial plants. Would you talk about those? Right, you know, these, these hoists have come a long ways. I mean, if you look at a wire rope hoist from 20 years ago, it didn't really have any intelligence, mm -hmm. right? It just went up or down. It was contact or control. And when it burned out, its life was over, mm -hmm. right? But the things that we've done to hoist these days, we've actually put some intelligence into the controls mm -hmm. to actually monitor the hoist, make them safer, make them last longer. So this particular unit, the Rhino, has what we call the RPU, the Rhino Protection Unit. Mm -hmm. It's inside the control cover of the hoist, and it has five main functions. First of all, overload. In the, in the event that one of the motors overheats, the thermal overload kicks in, the RPU tells the hoist to stop until I cool down. It also has overload for weight. So if I overload the hoist by putting more than five tons on the hoist, the overload kicks in, allows my hook to lower so mm. that I can take weight off, but, but does not allow my hook to raise any further. Oh, I see. All right, a okay. couple other functions about it. You can tie in some uh, sirens, um, you can even tie in a strobe light so that if one of these function kicks in, or just for simple movement of the crane, I can tie that into the RPU as well. And the two really nice features, the main feature mm -hmm. of the Rhino Protection Unit is the count hour meter, which gives me run time, number of hours on the mm -hmm. hoist for things such as preventive maintenance. And probably the, the neatest feature is what we call the motor management device. So operators like to push these buttons repeatedly, right? right. Up and down, up and down. Right. What we do, what we call plugging or reversing to change direction. Well, the motor management system actually has a delay system so that the motor can stop before it starts again. All right, and that stopping and starting is crucial to motor longevity, motor life, and keeping the temperature down. Good stuff. Harrington's RHN Rhino, it's a Rhino, and uh, we're here on location at Harrington's Mannheim, Pennsylvania plant. Alan Mark for Industry Visions. Thanks for being with us, Brett. You can't stop a rhino, Al. <laughs> Till next time, thanks for watching, everybody.